All right, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to set up X11 forwarding using uh, PuTTY and Windows so you can load up uh, GUI interfaces and GUI applications remotely into a Windows environment uh, from, let's say, in this case, an Ubuntu client. So the first thing we need is the XMeng server, which is at SourceForge. You need fonts and the server for it to load correctly. So I'm going to download and xming. You need to run inst install it as the administrator, so I'm just going to use the default settings. I'm going to create a couple icons for it. I'm going to go to the fonts. And finish that installation. Allow access to the domain. Save our fonts. Okay, so while that's downloading, I'm also going to open up PuTTY because you need to set up uh, X forwarding in the SSH server as well. So I'm load up my Ubuntu client. And the command to do that is sudo, this is in Ubuntu, so sudo, and now uh, let's see, fig, okay, and the line to edit is this, uh, that was the only line, forward, x11, yes. So then you just hit control X, save that. And I'm going to exit out that. So now we have our fonts downloaded. We're going to install the fonts. Oops. Got to run it as administrator. Not sure what all these fonts are, but. those and installing the fonts. So also after you enable X forwarding and SSH you might need to re restart the SSH server. But here I am in my putty client again. Now under connection and then under SSH under X11 you just check the box that says enable X11 forwarding and you can see down in Windows we have the X11 server running. Got our font still installing here. So I'm going to connect like that. Alright, so we've got our fonts finally installed. So I'm going to load up the uh, Xbox application. Load up um, G Edit. And I'm going to load up LibreOffice. So you can see here we are in Windows remotely loading these X11 applications in a graphical interface. And this is all happening over SSH and uh, running on the Windows XMing server. 
when you go to save file, it will be saved on the uh, Ubuntu server, or the Ubuntu SSH server. That's it, it's pretty simple.